Oh, Rama, thank you very much for that. So let's broaden this conversation. We have Dr. Levin Doe, a political analyst here in South Africa. Dr. Doe, thank you for your time. How has South Africa fared, or how effective has it been as chair of BRICS for this period of time? Good evening. South Africa has played a very significant role in terms of ensuring that uh, this summit becomes a success. There has been a number of interactions that has been taking place for some months now wherein uh, business people, different state departments, uh, different political organizations and all the stakeholders involved had to come in and start laying the ground for the summit. Everybody in South Africa for now could be well aware of what is actually happening in relation to BRICS and South Africa has made it a point that um, everybody or citizens in general are quite taught about what BRICS is all about, what is happening and what therefore could be the benefits of uh, South Africa chairing uh, BRICS and also hosting this important summit. Right, so this year one of the biggest talking points is expansion of BRICS. We understand a number of African countries have expressed interest to join. Uh, is this premature given that we have the Africa continental free trade area which is still in its formative stage? Well, I think BRICS appears to have done very well and that is why there are, um, there are many countries that are interested in joining BRICS. It appears to be a forum that is addressing issues for now and issues for the future. They talk about development, they talk about building a strong economy for the nations that are there and of course issues that relate to service delivery that are issues that every nation that wants to move forward with its own citizens would love to participate and join. As for matters relating to the free trade, well, it is there, it is being initiated, it has a lot of advantages, but at the same time, BRICS is available to say, let's make a much bigger impact, which uh, will actually benefit future generations that are actually coming. Right, so you talk of issues and I think one of the issues the small economies have had uh, in, in their trade with other, especially the Western countries, is the issue of trade imbalance. So as BRICS looks at this conversation of incorporating the small economies, what strategies should they put in place to ensure that there's equitable trade and investment, even inclusive of those small economies? That appears to be one of the challenges that BRICS is actually coming across. But I think this, this is the kind of a summit that will say, let's all put ourselves at the same level. Let's not have dominant members, but at the heart of the existence and at the heart of uh, what's happening at the summit would be to develop strategies to put all nations at par, but not forgetting the actual goal. Build the economy, make sure that societies are the beneficiaries, and in the main, encourage each other to ensure that ordinary citizens on the ground are able to, to get services that governments are supposed to provide. Create jobs for young people and ensure that young people have the hope for the future. All right, thank you very much for that. We had here in studio Dr. Levy Ndou.